From the 2270's display, we can see that we're currently using a, a building acoustics setup. The standard we've chosen is ISO from the, the many available. Uh, the task is an airborne sound insulation task rather than an impact or a facade and we're currently looking at the L1, the source room measurement, although L2, the receiving room measurement, B2, the background noise, and T2 can equally uh, easily be selected from, from this display. One of the first things we might do is check that the, the sound source is working. So if we go to the speaker icon and click on we can prove that uh, cables are connected, power ramp is set at an appropriate level and we're ready to, to start doing a measurement. Now at the moment we have a number of measurements already made so we have five in the receiving in the source room, seven in the receiving room, four done in the uh, as a building as a background measurement, and we have uh, seven reverberation time measurements. We'll do one more just for illustration purposes. So if we choose from the measurement display the task to be a T2 measurement, then we can uh, then we can undertake a, a brief uh, a short measurement of. T2 at, at one particular position. So we'll begin the T2 measurement, the final reverberation time measurement, by clicking on the start button on the, the meter. a couple of seconds the uh, reverberation times are calculated we'll notice that there are one or two smileys and if we click on the smiley we'll see that it reports that the decay is bent so let's have a look at the shape of the decay and the regression line is shown at the moment so maybe let's take that out of the way at 250 Hertz looks okay in which case we'll uh, we'll store that. And that's now stored as part of our measurement. So having completed our measurement, we're now ready to uh, to calculate our single figure index. So if we click on the the result icon on the result field, we can see that in summary we have a selection of measurements in each of the required location, source room, receiving room, background and T2. Um, we can select calculations and here we have a, a DNTW result but likewise we could choose R dash. Um, let's go back to DNTW though for a moment. We can superimpose the reference curve. So there's the reference curve on our display and if we wanted to maybe the area the area of the partition change that to 15 so here's our DNTW 27 DNTW plus C of 26 and a DNTW plus CTR of 27 the Smileys are a measurement integrity check and this is very useful. It allows us to do something about the quality of our measurement before we pack up the instruments and, and head off back to the office. So if we click on this smiley it will give us an indication of how we could improve our measurement. So in this case the maximum background noise correction was used. T2 suffered a little bit from high background noise. We had a short reverberation time where a BT product of less than 16 and uh, one or two of the reverberation decays are shown as being nonlinear. So this is this is the kind of information we would like to have when we can do something about it to improve, as I say, the quality of our measurement. <laughs>